Okay, it was asked whether we could go ahead and have the column base plates be associated with uh, the bottom of the column versus a work plane in Revit. And it largely depends on the column base plate family, but as long as that column base plate family is can be face hosted, yes, you can have that association in Revit. So if your column base essentially moves up or down, your design still in flux, your column base plate will move along with the bottom of that column. And uh, that's where that would, I'd go ahead and s recommend using that if your design's still in flux. Otherwise, a work plane's probably just going to be a little bit easier for you because you can work in plan. But that being said, let's go ahead and switch to a 3D view. And essentially, I'm going to be in a bottoms up 3D view where I see the bottom of the column here, and especially that bottom phase. Okay. I'm going to uh, go to the place a component here, choose the appropriate base plate family and type and then make sure that the place on face option is selected and then hover my cursor until I get the face or the bottom face of the column. Now it's not going to get it be placed in plan exactly where I want it to be. So I'll need to go back to the structural plan here and make sure that you know this is moved to where it ought to be here in both directions and maybe rotate it as well, right? I'll rotate it 90 degrees and then you know I'd, I'd fix the holes and all that good stuff Let me go ahead and make this four inches and there you go so there's my my base plate the idea is now you know here in the 3d view that should this change for example maybe I've got a negative one foot base offset the column moves down the base plate will move along with it okay so that's how you would go ahead and uh, attack that you would also need to, as uh, before I end up this video, you would also need to kind of do that the same workflow with each of your columns. And that's why, if you can use a work plane as opposed to a um, the face of the column, that might be better. But again, your design might be in flux. You want this flexibility where, you know, the the base of the column is going to move up and down. You want the column base plate to move with it. That's the approach I would I would say.